Hey there, I'm Amrus, I'm from Russia, and it's been a while since my last video. But uh, actually, lots of things have happened since then. But right now, the big thing that's going on in Russia is FIFA. Probably you know it's the Football World Cup, and this year it uh, takes place in Russia. And I'm gonna tell you about how people like me, uh, Russians here, feel about this holiday and how actually it uh, impacts our lives. Uh, big cities are used to hosting big events uh, like Moscow and Petersburg and also actually Sochi after the Olympic Games. But right now matches uh, take place in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 10 cities. And some of those cities uh, not only were not used to holding such events, but people actually mostly haven't seen like foreigners and they themselves haven't uh, gone uh, traveling. For example, for cities like Samara and maybe Nizhny Novgorod, this uh, championship is actually a big deal and uh, uh, lots of people feel this uh, festive spirit and that something is going on, something is happening. Because you see smiling people, I mean smiling Russian people, that's not a common thing. Especially if you see smiling policemen. You can feel that um, maybe they are smiling for the first time and they are trying really, really hard. But yeah, maybe they will learn how to do this and this will become their habit. Who knows? Also, I've um, come across um, a situation where some foreigner was asking some local girl about the direction to uh, the city center and she was trying to remember English and she was trying to help him. So that's actually a good thing because Russians are usually scared to speak English and um, yes, not all of them know English well but still uh, mostly they can use uh, like several words and uh, form some sentences so basically right now it's a good opportunity for russians finally to get rid of their shyness and actually to use the english and they will understand that uh, it's not scary it's uh, it's not a problem if you make uh, grammar mistakes they won't kill you, they won't uh, uh, even um, think bad about you, because they will actually appreciate that you help them and that you are trying to remember the language that uh, you are not supposed to speak. And again, talking about this festive spirit and uh, the policemen, they're actually right now quite nice, even for Russians. So like in Moscow, in the city center of Moscow, you can actually um, have fun, have some party on the street. Even in Samara, uh, one of the main streets were closed for cars and it became a pedestrian zone. And uh, some cafe had a huge party going on on the street. And policemen, uh, normally they will ban this thing. Uh, they want people to um, have fun. But this time they could relax and they could dance uh, and have beer on the street. And it's really amazing for us, because you know it's illegal in Russia to drink uh, in public places. So it's a nice experience. What is also quite important that uh, a lot of foreigners have come to Russia for their first time. And I personally know a guy from England and his friends were telling him that he's crazy uh, to go to Russia, even to FIFA. It is too dangerous here that you will get poisoned uh, with the uh, poison that, um, you know, this accident in uh, England uh, with this, uh, um, some agents uh, or spies. So basically, uh, people were afraid to go here, but still they are fans of football, so they decided that uh, they can't miss it. And they were pretty surprised when they came here, because um, all the stereotypes and all the fears that they had didn't actually prove themselves. Um, I mean, they had fun, they uh, talked to Russian people, they uh, danced on streets. They just really had a great time. So um, I think it's good, but uh, you also should know that um, actually Russia is not such a um, fun place and not such a nice place as it is uh, during the FIFA. A lot of things have been made uh, to make uh, FIFA happen, like, uh, for example, buildings were renovated and restored, um, roads have been built, uh, stadiums, some infrastructure. We didn't have all that uh, before the FIFA. Of course, on big cities it was okay, but uh, like, uh, for example, Samara, 
as far as I know, it uh, it was not just not such a nice place like it is now. It was still beautiful, but uh, it uh, really needed this kind of a kick to get things done. So it's a good thing, but also you should know that if you come to Russia uh, during some other time, not during the FIFA, you will probably get another experience, not a bad one, but just different. But then you will see the true Russia, how it is. So just why not come back to Russia? Would you just uh, say a few words about yourself and maybe your own uh, like channel? And uh, just tell me what's your impression about Russia? Hello, Russia. I'm Federico. Um, I born in Argentina. I grew up uh, in Europe. I was traveling around the world the last 20 years. Um, and I came to Russia two weeks ago. I'm impressed. I got impressed and I'm still impressed on how the people it's uh, offering themselves to help in different ways. I want to say like um, I pass uh, through different moments in different cities around the country uh, where the people offer themselves without to speak uh, English or without to know the way to communicate through the language but they understood uh, I need a help so uh, in many different ways uh, the Russians in different ages as well not young people they help and that is something grateful to say about it uh, one of the other things like I want to say is like I realize here uh, the English is a, a big barrier uh, to communicate ourselves with the with the local ones and, and I know and I understand as well like people from the 50s or 60 or 70 years old they don't know nothing about the English but um, Let's talk about supermarket. I go to the supermarket and, 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 and you know, the ones who work over there, it's kind of uh, 60 or 70s and they, they try, they try to, they try to open themselves to, to, to understand even the, the, the ways of my hands, to, of my, my ways, how, I, to, to, how to communicate myself with the eyes or how I explain it and they do the same. So kind of a mimic uh, movement we recreate in terms of communicate ourselves uh, in between this uh, big barrier of the language and, 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 and it's still happening, you know, it's like, so that's for me, it's another thing to remark and says like, um, this is an amazing way, like the people is, it's open to, to offer uh, help in many different ways. And you know what? Also volunteers. It's quite nice to see that um, people are actually getting used to them as well because uh, like four years ago no one really understood what they are for and why there are so many of them. But now actually like also fans are usually coming to volunteers for help. They don't know the functions of the volunteers so sometimes they ask the questions to the ones that can't actually help them. But uh, still they know that they can always uh, turn uh, to volunteers for help. And also um, the workers at uh, different um, events uh, like some managers and even some um, government officials and uh, policemen they also know that uh, those nice girls and boys can help them. For example, I saw that uh, um, a woman uh, was uh, chasing a volunteer. She was a, a policeman working in the metro and she had some kind of problem with the foreigner and she ran to the policeman to, for help because he could translate and help her uh, in communication with that person. So it's really nice that uh, we are getting used to this global community and to a very important part of such events. Have you got any questions about Russia? Leave them in the comments below. And also watch my previous videos. Maybe you will like them if you haven't seen them. And see ya! And by the way, if you're interested, I'm right now in Finland and I'm trying to cross the border back to Russia. That's why the scenery changes and uh, there is lots of wind. But I hope 
hope you can hear me properly and hopefully soon I will probably get my microphone. So.